subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. 10S worth buying. So this guy right here is the smaller edition of the iPhone 10S series. And a lot of people are comparing these together, but I want to put my sole focus on this guy for this video as it's just confusing as ever this year on which iPhone to buy. Now, sales have been showing that the 10S Max have easily outpaced this device, and that's to be expected. It is the more newer device of the two, but you can see this is a 10S with a little slit right there and a little slit right there. So my aim in this video is to give you five reasons why this is not worth buying and five reasons why it is worth buying and then come to a final conclusion to help you make a choice on this device right here. Okay, so we're gonna begin with the reasons why it's not worth it to buy the iPhone 10s. And the first reason is that the iPhone 10 exists. Now I'm sure you expected me to talk about this one, but how could we not make a video if the iPhone 10s is worth it without talking about the phone that is virtually identical? Now the reason why I say that it might not be worth it because of the 10 is because when I've been using both of these phones, I've been seeing virtually no difference until I pull out the camera. Even the battery life is pretty close on both of them, but the iPhone 10 can now be found third party for a hundred to two hundred dollars cheaper and if you really look you can even find people who really want to get rid of their 10 and are selling it at like six or seven hundred bucks so it could be a significant savings and really the only main difference i'm seeing is the cameras are a little bit better for the 10s and the battery life is slightly better like half an hour better or so but the displays are identical the feel in the hand is just as premium on both and even the speed with the a12 bionic is not that felt on the day-to-day just yet with the 10s versus the iPhone 10. Yes, it's a little bit snappier on a day to day with iOS 12 over the 10, but that power, even though it is a much more powerful seven nanometer chipset, you really don't feel it in your day to day iOS use just yet on the iPhone 10s versus some, using something like the iPhone 10. All right, guys, so the second reason why this iPhone is not worth buying is that it has the worst battery life of the three new iPhones, the iPhone 10R will have better battery life than the 10S, as well as the 10S Max with a bigger capacity. And I can confirm that the 10S Max has been giving me better battery life. So that's the second reason why I wouldn't buy the iPhone 10S. Okay, so for my third reason not to buy the iPhone 10S, this comes down to you get more money with the iPhone 10R that's coming up. Yes, you don't get a dual camera, but you're getting the same primary camera, which is the one that matters the most. Also with the 10R, you're gonna get like mostly the same design. You're not gonna get the OLED panel, but you're gonna get most of what this phone offers with a slightly bigger screen, and it's gonna be much cheaper than buying this device. So I feel like the iPhone 10S actually sits as a decoy to sell both the 10R and the 10S Max, because you look at this and you're like, person who wants a cheaper phone is just going to buy the 10R and a person who wants the best phone is just going to buy the 10S Max. So this one's kind of like just here kind of I feel to sell the 10S Max or the 10R. So I think the third reason is that you get more money for either of those phones, either the 10R being the cheaper and giving you most of what you want, or if you want the best, why not just pay a little bit more and get the best Apple offers, which is the 10S Max. So my fourth reason is that the notch is just more noticeable on the 10S. So because you have a smaller screen, it's actually a lot easier to see. Just This is just something I've been noticing. The notch on the iPhone XS Max, look at all that display. There's just so much more display that your eye is less likely to go to see that notch up at the top. So yes, while they both have basically the same notch, it just seems like I'm looking at it more when I'm using this smaller display. So that's just something personally I've noticed and I really don't like about the smaller edition of this phone. And that applies to the iPhone 10 as well. So my fifth reason why I wouldn't buy the iPhone 10s is because the 10s Max exists. Why not get the phone that just offers more screen for around the same price? Yes, it's $100 more in pretty much every price tier. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure people can buy an iPhone 10s can buy a 10s max and this device just offers more for the money even though it's a little bit more at least you're getting the best and the biggest apple has to offer and i think just having that 10s max in the name is going to sell more phones because if a consumer goes into a store and they see should i get a 10s 
or should I get a 10s max? The word max, you can be like, okay, well, that must be the maximum. That must be the max of everything. So just give me the 10s max. All right. So now let's talk about the reasons I would buy this phone if I was you. So if you really liked the 10 last year, but you never got around to purchasing this device, but you still want Apple's latest specifications, you don't want to go with a last year's model, then the iPhone 10s could be the perfect fit for you and you don't really want a phablet style device but again you like last year's iphone 10 but you don't want to invest in a year old product the iphone 10s is the perfect fit for you my second reason is that you want that flashy gold color that you see here on my 10s max but you want it in a smaller package that is the iphone 10s or again if you like the 10 last year but you wish they brought that one in gold and you have no interest in larger phones but you want it in gold a flashy gold color then the 10s could be right up your alley. I got the space gray because I got the gold in the max, but they do have it in that gold color. So that would be my second reason why the iPhone 10s would make sense as a purchase. But that really is reaching for, you know, a reason because I don't think everybody's going to buy a phone just because of the color. But some people you would be surprised will literally buy a product just because of the color. My sister, for example, years ago, she was excited, super excited about buying a 5S just because it came in gold. So don't write that off as not a valid reason. The third reason is that you want a smaller seven nanometer smartphone. So this is kind of the only one right now with a seven nanometer chipset. That's that A12 Bionic chip with all that power. Now, Huawei is the only one keeping pace with Apple here with their Kirin 980 CPU that is going to launch in the Mate 20 Pro. But that phone is going to be huge. And you don't, you're don't you probably not going to see a Huawei phone this small you know, right away with that kind of specification. So if you care about getting the most powerful CPU and GPU performance in the world and you don't want it in a large package, so if you want a more manageable size with great power, this is going to be basically your only offering. I mean, this phone is actually close to the size of an iPhone 6S or a 6, it just has more screen. So my fourth reason is the weight. So the iPhone 10s Max is the heaviest iPhone ever. This phone is over 205 grams and this one's 177 grams. Now the iPhone 10s Max, if that's too heavy for you and you want something that's more a lighter and more pocketable design, maybe a, a phone you could put in your shirt pocket, a phone you can easily slip in a pocket, the iPhone XS Max is going to be more of a bag phone. So when you're going to put in your bag or in your purse if you're a lady, this device right here is just going to be a much lighter experience. But it still has enough weight to feel dense and premium. So that would be a good reason to buy the iPhone XS. So my fifth reason is the cameras of the iPhone XS. Now, the iPhone XS are the same cameras as the iPhone XS Max. And it's funny because last year, Google took shots at Apple at their Pixel event, and they were saying, we have the same camera on both our small and larger phone. I think Apple heard that because this year, their small and larger phones have the same exact camera as well. So last year, if you wanted the more premium cameras, you would have to buy the iPhone 10 because it had even better cameras than the 8 Plus. But if you were like just in between those three phones, the iPhone 8 only had a single camera. This year, these guys have dual cameras, and even the 10R will have the same primary camera. So this year, the camera value is better than last year's were. So in conclusion, who is the iPhone 10s for? Now, it seems like it's not really going to fit well with most people because if you want a cheaper phone, like I said earlier, you can just get the iPhone 10R and have a bigger screen and basically everything this phone offers besides that OLED display, them cameras, and the more premium stainless steel around the edges. So last year, if you bought the iPhone 10, you went all out, you got all out. This year, if you go with the 10s, you're going all out, but you're not really getting all out. Even though it might feel like you're going all out on the 10s, there's something that's going even more all out, and that's the 10s Max. So at $999, $1,000, you would think this is the best, but no, this is actually the second best. And that seems to be the popular belief based on the sales, based on what most people have been saying in the comments of videos. But again, best is subjective, and to some people with smaller hands, this is their 10s Max. And I think that's the best thing about the 10s. At least if you get it, you're not really missing too much if you go with this versus a 10s Max, because mostly... They have the same exact internals. So that's it. I hope this video helped you to decide if the iPhone 10s is going to be worth your time this year. It's an excellent smartphone. It just has a lot of competition within its own ecosystem of smartphones, and that is the 10R 
in the 10s max but i think if you buy it you're still going to be very happy with the device it works very well and um it's an apple phone so it's going to last year it's going to hold its value are you buying an iphone 10s are you skipping this one out do you have no interest at all in this iphone 10s do you think that apple should have just not released this one what do you think about this device let us know down below this is nick here helping you to master your technology be sure to subscribe if you